For the first time, we're hearing from the mother of this eight-year-old boy who was killed in a head-on crash in Riverside. Ana Carvajal's three other children were also critically injured. Now she is filing a lawsuit against the city of Riverside, and NBC4's Tony Shin has her story. This is the moment that Anna Carbajal says forever changed her life. A head-on collision in May that critically injured three of her children and took the life of her youngest son, Obed. He was only eight years old. Carbajal told us, nothing will bring me peace. My son is gone. No one will bring him back. She also says her other three children have endured tremendous heartache and pain. Her 25-year-old daughter, Kiali, who was driving, had surgeries for a broken foot and arm. Carbajal's oldest son, Mario, only 16 years old at the time of the crash, suffered brain swelling and had to have spine fusion surgery. And her 10-year-old daughter, Kiara, had severe brain and spinal injuries, as well as two broken legs. She says, what I've lived through in the past months, I don't wish to anybody. This roadway was well documented to be dangerous. As early as 2009, the citizens, the residents were complaining about the speed on that roadway, the crashes on the roadway, the lack of signs or um, traffic controls on that roadway. Erica Contreras is representing the Carbajal family in a civil lawsuit against the city of Riverside and the driver of the other car, Andres Laris. Riverside police say Laris was speeding down Arlington Avenue when he drifted into oncoming traffic, causing the head-on collision. But Contreras says she blames the city for failing to implement traffic calming measures like stoplights at the intersection of Arlington Avenue and Stover Avenue. The city is the one that really holds should be held responsible because they knew about it. They did nothing to prevent it. Before the Carbajal crash in May, the city had already planned to put in stoplights at the intersection to slow drivers down. But they weren't installed until about five months later because, according to a city spokesperson, there were supply issues. Contreras says the lights should have actually been installed back in 2015 when the city originally <laughs> planned to put them in. If that would have been done, she believes the crash that killed Obed and critically injured his siblings would not have happened, which is why the family is filing the lawsuit. We hoping a jury will award the Carbajal family damages for their pain and suffering. So it's a combination of, of um, making sure that the Carbajal family receives the necessary care for the rest of their life, but it's also um, a search to make sure that the city of Riverside implements all of the safety precautions that they said they were going to implement and then failed to do so. We contacted the city of Riverside for a response to that lawsuit, but a spokesperson says they do not comment on pending litigation. Tony Shin, NBC4 News.